welcome aboard. Welcome aboard the spacious cabin, attractively decorated, air-conditioned but draft-free. Newly designed individual overhead light units are an innovation. Roominess extends even to the powder rooms, which look like those in a private home. And a new sensation, complete absence of vibration. Near sonic speed, but inside one of the most stunning discoveries. There is no feeling of movement at all, no vibration, hardly any sound. A new concept in air transportation. The travail has been taken out of travel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We are now at cruising altitude, 35,000 feet. Our flying speed is 575 miles per hour. In addition, we're benefiting from a substantial tailwind by courtesy of the jet stream. Hence, our ground speed is now uh, approximately 658 miles per hour. Indications are that our arrival at London Airport may be ahead of schedule. I'll be speaking with you again from time to time. Thank you. This is the atmosphere on a jet clipper flight. Delicious food adds to the enjoyment. It's prepared in four simultaneously operating galleys where dishes can be cooked in five-minute ovens. Scenes of living room quiet and relaxation. The mood enhanced by lighting that can be changed from the pale pink of dawn through all the variations to the dark blue of night. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain again. I've just been talking with flight control at London Airport. The temperature there is 64 degrees and the weather is clear. If you haven't already changed your watches to conform to the time difference, I suggest you do so now. We are now making our descent. I won't be speaking to you again, as we'll be in our landing pattern over London in the next few minutes. It was a pleasure to have you aboard our jet clipper. We hope to have you with us again soon. Thank you. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. And I just wanted to uh, just talk about this fucking disaster. I mean, you Americans, look at this. This is the, the famous Pan Am 747 Clipper. Clipper Jean Tripe. That was the founder of fucking Pan Am. No respect. No respect. This is the um, very historic. This was the plane that was the official, the last flight for Pan Am. This was the last flight for Pan Am, and instead of giving it the respect it deserves, putting it in an aeronautical museum, uh, doing something with it, you sold it to a fucking noodle restaurant in South Korea. What a fucking nasty, 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 nasty thing to do. I mean, this is a very historic aircraft. This is probably, this was the greatest airline of all times. Pan Am. Pan American. And this is what you do to it. A piece of history. A piece of modern history. And you cut the fucker up and sell it to a noodle restaurant in South Korea. And if you didn't think that was a fucking stupid idea. And if you didn't realize that would end in disaster. You've got to have fucking rocks in your head. And it's a disgrace, you Americans. You bear arms, but something of such historic significance, you scrap, you sell it to a fucking noodle restaurant. Have you ever heard of anything so distasteful, disrespectful, and nasty? Nasty! It's nasty. And you Americans, you need to bow your head in shame. I'm Archie Luxury, and I'm disgusted with you fuckers. ...an old friend, but for many that's exactly what this airplane is. It was the first commercial 747 to come off Boeing's assembly line, and it's Pan American Airlines' last 747 flight. That's why it's near and dear to so many. 
Everybody here put a lot of sweat into this airplane. And to come to an end like this, it's hard, very hard. This is what it was all about, getting it into the air and keeping it going and making a name for Pan American and taking people wherever they wanted to go and the safety factor involved. And this airplane seen better days and so did the company and now this is the end. And you know, it's, it's just like breaking up a marriage after 50 years. It's not an easy thing to let go of. Former Pan Am workers and the few who still work for the bankrupt airline came to bid farewell to not only their first 747, but also an era. It was an era that began in 1970 when Pan Am's legendary founder, Juan Tripp, gave Boeing its first contract for 747s. Pan Am employees will tell you that was the beginning of truly modern aviation. Between him and the person who was in charge, Mel Allen, who was in charge of Boeing at the time, this is pretty much how everything started, all the aviation we have today, all started from this. Those were Pan Am's glory days, but an oil embargo, deregulation, and a recession crippled the airline. Pan Am filed for bankruptcy last year and was grounded in December. For workers who had been with the airline for more than 30 years, this was a fitting tribute to not only an airplane that circled the globe 1,800 times, but to the Pan American family. My husband was 36 with the company. We met on the airplane. Uh, our son became a, became a pilot with Pan Am, and he met his wife on the airplane. So it's, it's that time. She's headed to Southern California, where she may fly again, perhaps as a freighter. But this is the last 747 you'll see with Pan Am's name on it. At Kennedy Airport, Carolyn Gussoff, News 12, Long Island. Just say hello to a brand new world. It's just outside your door. Say hello to a brand new dream, much closer than before. All the world is waiting for you. There's a change across the land. Say hello to a brand new world. Say hello to Pan Am. Now that Pan Am and National are one, we can take you from 25 U.S. cities to places all around the world with the kind of international service that's made us famous. One baggage check-in, one ticket on one airline. Say hello to Pan Am. Say hello to a brand new world. Say hello to Pan Am. Pan Am paging Miss Fulton. Would you please call at the Pan American ticket counter on the departures level? Miss Fulton. When you fly out into the world with Pan Am, you're not going with an airline that knows one country best and visits the rest. You're flying with the world airline. In over 40 years, we've got to know the world pretty well. You'll find local Pan Am people in 207 offices linking 84 countries, waiting to do all the little things that leave you free to do yours. It's all in the price of your ticket.
And you Americans should bow your head in shame.